Hey gamers, this is Zelda underscore girl, and today I'm going to be starting a brand new series with Splatoon 2! I know, right? How exciting is that? So, what I'm going to do is recently I'm, I've been starting to do some story mode. So, I thought I'd show you guys the, you know, a thousand percenter of story mode so I'll be showing you each sardinium and each scroll from each level and stage you might as well say so yeah I'll be showing you guys all that in parts so obviously there'll probably be a total of about five videos because I'll do one for each stage so this is the very first one I'm super excited let's get it down with number one. So I've just recently been playing it, you know, because why not? And because when the Octo expansion comes out, you know, I probably want to finish this. And I've been having a few times where I'm internet free. So I've been playing this. So here we are. This is the first stage is called Tentacle Outpost. So I'm just going to show you how to collect the Sardinium and Scroll. So for each whole like area, there is a Sardinium and the Scroll as well as each level. So first one, you have to climb up this pole here. And right here in this box, which is across from the boss, is the Sardinium. So there you go, there's the Sardinium. Now for pretty much every other level, you have to go around popping a certain colour balloon. And so I'm just going to show you the quick path that you need to take and what path you must ink in order to get it done quickly. And I've also been really getting to like the bucket in story mode too. So, there you go. So that path that I just sent inked then, here's where the scroll will land. And the, the path that I just inked is where you'll have to go. So I'll just show you. Oh. So as each level progresses, the sardinium and scroll get harder. So that one, as you can see, was pretty easy. And that was the scroll. So there you go. That's the tentacle outpost, sardinium, and scroll. So here we go, level one. Now this Sardinium and Scroll, obviously they're going to be pretty, some of them are pretty simple and some of them are pretty hard. Usually the Scroll is harder to get than the Sardinium. But yeah, usually you don't find them until mid to late in the level. <laughs> Mr. Calamari. Yeah, I'm just sort of almost speed running it because it's not until heaps later in the level. Yeah. 
Now with this, to get the key, you just have to squish this box. Now here is where you'll find the first sardinium. Up here, once you defeat this guy, don't go to the portal. I repeat, do not go to the portal. Instead, go up the side. And here's this box that is the level one sardinium. Now here is fairly important that you see that box there that is where the scroll is so you gotta drop down there you go the scroll so that's all of level one done So that's potentially all of level one done. And now I'm just gonna complete it. Now I'm not doing like mega 100% walkthroughs, I'm just gonna speed run the rest of the level because if you guys want to see 100% walkthroughs, it'll obviously go for tons long. So, there you go, that is level 1 of the Tentakeel Outpost. So here we are, level 2. Now level 2, this is more of like a beachy theme. And with this one, the scroll comes before the Sardinium, but still not until heaps later in the video. So, firstly, we're just gonna take out this guy real quick. Come up here. So, here is where you're about to get your scroll. Come up here. Come over here, drop down, and there you go, that's the scroll. So here we are, up here, these dudes don't do anything to you but they do sort of slightly annoy you because, you know, they chew up all your ink on the wall so they're like a vacuum for ink. Now here is where you're about to get the... Sardinium, I think. Yep, right here. So there you go. That is level two's scroll and sardinium. And over here, if you just wanna, you know, future managers, this is the 
where you get the special and there's two waves of these guys. So the second wave is going to come in over to the left more in the front of where you first access the area and then just take all these guys out real quick. So once you do, only then will the launch pad be available. Then you can come up here. Kill that guy. Over here is probably got to be the easiest part. To just destroy all those. Destroy this guy who likes to spew on you. Boom. Look at these. Once you hit basically one of them, then it triggers off everything. But you can then successfully climb to the zapfish and get the zapfish with ease. That is level two. So here we are with level three. Now I'm cho choosing the dualies this time because I just feel like they've got a bit more speed and better range. And also because I've only done this level with the hero shot replica. So, yeah. So, here we go. Yeah, so just come up here, and as you can see right there, that is a fish, a sardinium. That's the sardinium for level 3. Yeah, so just over here, as you can see, there's just that little, little divot there. Ink up the wall, go up, and there's your scroll. So that's level three. Yeah, so now I'm just going to quickly finish up the level. Yeah, so this is the end of the level. With the sardinium and the scroll. There we go. So here we are entering the boss kettle. So for this one you don't actually get a scroll, but you do get a sardinium. And yeah, this is just the boss. So there you go, once you've defeated that boss, 
that was the sardinium that I just got and yeah just by finishing that you get the just one sardinium so there you go so there you go guys that was five sardinium and four scrolls for sector one the tentacle outpost make sure to tune in next time I do a splatoon video on the story mode single player campaign thank you guys so much for watching comment share with your friends subscribe and don't forget to like if you did enjoy the video so i know to do more and yeah thank you guys so much for watching zelda underscore girl out